What is going on, guys? MMA Island team, we got the fight picks, and we are back with UFC Fight Night, Hermanson versus Vittori. I actually interviewed Marvin Vittori, so make sure you guys go check out that interview. It was when the whole beef with Kevin Holland was starting up, and the beef with uh, Carl Roberson was starting up as well. Um, and uh, he's really, really nice dude, really, really cool dude, and he uh, he's an interesting interview. So make sure you guys Michael Fry in the middle of it all. <laughs> we uh, and yeah, man, uh, that's that's what two out of the last three main events i've interviewed the people who were fighting so it's pretty cool but uh yeah talking about this fight alia tuporia taking on damon jackson super interesting uh matchup uh and i and i say that about typically every fight but this is you got to agree with me on this one because you got a guy in alia tuporia who was taking on a train in use of zalal to start yeah. off his ufc career uh and going into this going into the zalal fight he was eight he was eight and oh with one with one or no seven submissions and one KO, um, and his last fight getting him into the UFC was the one he got a KO in. Uh, so Toporia, a dude you got to watch out for because he was he went out there and he beat Zalal pretty handedly, and I had Zalal win in the fight. So then you got Damon Jackson, a guy who was in the UFC. He was in the UFC, kind of had an up and down career. Uh, he gets choked out by Yancey Medeiros, has a no contest after that, and then has a draw with um, Makash Willie, Makash Willie, Levon Makash Willie. Shout out to the Georgians. Shout out to uh, Marab Dewalis Willie as well. But uh, it, so he has an up and down U, a UFC career to start it off, goes to LFA and pulls off sub -win, submission win, submission win, submission win, submission win, KO win, gets knocked out, submission win, puts him into the UFC. And who does he face off against? He faces off against Mirsad Bektik in a back and forth battle on the ground. And I love my ground game. You guys know that I say that all the time. I love my ground game. It was an awesome, awesome fight. And the thing about, so this is an interesting fight. And I, and, and I want to mention this just because I think it's important uh, to talk about his last fight and kind of go in depth about it. Uh, and we will get that sort of, uh, we'll, bring, we'll bring in the, the, fight, the fight recap videos. That's one thing you guys got to watch out for. Uh, super excited to get that into play. And it's something that is coming. Uh, and we're, I'm excited to do it because I love talking about my fights and not just predicting them and typically getting them wrong. But, uh, but yeah, the Mirsad Bektik fight. It's part of the game, Poppy. <laughs> Mirsad, Mirsad wins the first two rounds against Damon Jackson and then goes in the third round. And, I, and this, this is tough, man, because I think, I think a lot of people, when they see a fighter up two rounds, they don't like to see them coast. They don't want to see them just point fight, uh, play conservative uh, and, and sort of, just kind of I don't even I don't mind it honestly when it happens like sometimes I'll be like oh come on but mostly I I'm I'm a proponent of winning by whatever means necessary even though I'm not a huge fan of like lay and pray like you know just what like riding out the clock and shit but I you know I'm rarely gonna down down a fighter for like doing what they need to do to win yeah for sure and, and, and you're looking at so this this was my problem with it because what really won Mirsad Bektig the first first two rounds and honestly for the most part he was winning the third round until he got uh, until he got uh, reversed and choked out but but Mirsov was dominating dominating the striking the, the few times they did strike he landed 13 out of 21 significant strikes clearly he was having an advantage in the striking game uh but if you watch the fight you know that he didn't he didn't uh stay on it because he took him down for the most part and again he was dominating him there too the wrestling is what won him those first two rounds nine and a half minutes of control seven of nine on his takedown 77 percent takedown percentage he was dominating damon jackson he was taking him down he was holding him down and what kind of held damon jackson in the fight was the sub attempts he had seven submission attempts uh guillotines rear naked chokes he was going for everything man he was trying 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 and Mirsad was just winning and winning and winning. And when I say that I kind of wish Mirsad didn't coast, or I kind of wish he did coast, was because when you're in the second round and you've been dominating him on the ground, you got a guy who's getting deep submission try after deep submission try. Strike with him a little bit, man. Strike with him for about three minutes. Take him down if you need to. Don't put yourself in any crazy positions. Mirsad gets into get, gets into a crazy position with Damon Jackson, and Damon Jackson chokes him out, which is typically how he wins the fights. So that's another reason why it's an interesting matchup because you got Aliyah Teporia, a guy who typically wins by submission as well. Um, so it's tough, man. It's not tough because I know who I'm picking and I'm picking them in pretty high confidence, but it, but it's, it's, it's tough to say how the fight is going to go. How the fight I think is going to go is I think uh, Aliyah Teporia is going to dominate the fight. Why do I think that? So Mirza Bektik is a pretty high IQ fighter, but I do like the, the, 
tenacity is the word I will use for Elia Tuporia to go in there and face a guy who was looking for the most wins in 2020 uh, in use of Zalal. I think a lot of people were watching for that dude to fight for a title with the run he was on. I don't think he deserved a title. I don't think anyone was saying that, but I think that the fight that was leading up to it, um, he was on that pace. He was on that pace. I think he was what four and zero, three and zero in the UFC in, in 2020. Uh, and he was on that pace, and then Elia Tuporia put a stop to it, and he kind of dominated the fight for the most part, from what I remember, at least. Um, so it was a sick fight, but it was like he did get, he did kind of dominate him. Yeah, yeah, five submission attempts, five takedowns, not too much striking as well. So I think we're going to see this fight definitely go to the ground. And, and man, I'm picking Tuporia pretty high confidence, just because I think he's gonna, he's not going to play around, he's not going to try and wrestle, he's not going to. And I think I got another thing is the aggressiveness of Damon Jackson is going to kind of play a factor as well. If Damon Jackson is too aggressive on a submission attempt and puts himself in a position to, to get caught with Taporia, um, I think that's one thing that we're going to see. And it's going to be a ground game, man. Definitely going to be a ground fight, ground fighting game. And I love it. I totally love it. It was a 29, 28 for Taporia. So I shouldn't say got he dominated Zalal, but again, Zalal is a beast. And then Taporia went out and beat him. So you got to give him his credit there. Um, Zalal reversed it three times, held almost three minutes of control time, but eight minutes of control time for Taporia. Um, so five submission attempts. We're going to see a lot of submission attempts, man. I think a good bet to make is that this fight ends via submission. Um, going to be really, really interesting to see. I'm excited to see it. I got Taporia in pretty high confidence. Pass it on to the slick. I think the better fight to make is that this fight ends just before the scorecards. I think there's just a finish. Uh, and I don't think it's going to be Ilya Taporia getting finished. I, I agree with you on that. But I kind of am envisioning more of a like a ground and pound TKO situation, honestly. Okay. Even though I know both of them are super like going to be chasing the submissions and stuff. I just, I see Topuria coming in and showing that He's dangerous in many ways on the ground. I think he's going to come. I think he's coming in and trying to, because Damon Jackson, I don't think has the the hype around him that Yusef Zalal did. I think that him going in and fighting someone like Damon Jackson, he's going to want to get it. He's one going to want to get a finish, but two, do it in a way that says like, I'm here and I can hurt you in a bunch of ways. So I got, I, I, I just see a ground and pound TKO situation, but a submission is probably even more likely, but I'll, I'll go TKO for, for the fun of it. You got, so who you got, you got Damon Jackson winning this one? No, no. You got Taporia, I got you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So yeah, definitely going to go to the ground. I think if there was a, a betting line. It's going to be fun on the ground for as long as it lasts. I think if there was a betting line that said that, that this fight's going to go to the ground, it would probably not be the greatest amount of multipliers, but it'd be one I'd definitely hit. And hey, maybe if you're watching the fight with the casual, be like, I'll bet you 20 bucks this fight goes to the ground. And uh, hey, maybe you'll make money off that. So, Good old bet. Maybe, yeah, it's take always, always on the come up. <laughs> so yeah, we both got to pour, to pour you on this one. And the exclusive Zach pick from the outside bounds. We got Zach uh, and the text messages right here, and he's got Taporia as well. So we got three for three. Taporia winning the fight. Uh, man, make sure you check guys for checking us out on the MMA Island Instagram pages, Octagon Island, Headline Island, Underdog Island, MMA Island Junior. Uh, I'm missing, I'm missing somebody. Who am I missing? Uh, we go. We got. Uh, we just, got. We got a whole network of islands. Just, just go follow them all. Just follow the mother, the mothership of MMA Island, and uh, you, you'll you'll get in touch with all of everyone. So make sure you guys are showing your support on some other videos on the channel, liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and make sure you guys are checking out the other fight pick videos.